brushes. Some really weird brushes that I literally, when I heard about them, I was like, I've got to have them. A. And B, what the heck? These are called nipple brushes. I am so intrigued by these that I had to buy them and I really wanted to try them out and show you guys what I think about them because they're so interesting and I've never seen anyone in here before Jeffree Star and Nikki Tutorial, so suck my ass. I came here second. The first one was Shannon because she... She obviously showed you, showed everyone how to use these. Because you all know how honest I am. I'm too honest. Too honest that I make people cry sometimes. Okay, it's 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 a it's a flaw, but people love me for it. So I'm going to give these a go. Hopefully, the these won't demonetize my channel. This is going on YouTube, not Red Tube. These are called nipple brushes. They're by Exo Beauty. Um, let's get bloody started. So, okay, it's. It, it actually feels heavy, like it feels luxurious. It feels way better than a Kylie Jenner brush. The so Kylie Jenner sucked my ass. This is shat all over your brushes already, okay? Yeah, so there's like a big chunky one. This is called the large buffer, medium buffer, small buffer. And this is this extra small buffer. Detail buffer, whoa. I'm going to do a full face using these, but when it comes to eyeshadow, because I want to do a really cool eyeshadow look for you guys, I think I'm pretty sure to blend something quite seamlessly you are gonna need to use one of these, you know, to like, for the eyeshadow and stuff. Cause I'm not gonna butcher this product and say it's shit and use it for the wrong reasons, do you get what I mean? So I want to use it for all the right reasons and use it for as much as I possibly can on my face. So it's a little bit like a challenge. I was watching her video where she, um, ah! where she's talking about these and these are amazing for cream stuff like creamy stuff so like obviously you don't use this for a powder and like set your whole face i'm gonna put i've got some new stuff i've got some brand new cool stuff that i'm gonna be trying out today for you guys so i'm really excited i'm gonna be trying out the Stila one step correct to correct my whole face because honestly if there's a mistake here in this video it's obviously my face we're going to correct it all oh my god i love the colors oh yep Please don't demonetize it. That was literal primer porn right there. Okay, Yoshi, that's cool. So, I'm just bonus on my face. And I love it already. Look how clear my face looks already. Far out. Stila, you legend. Everyone's had this for ages though. I'm just new to the game here, guys. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to be putting on is the Mark J. Mark J. Lab Garpetus. No, no, Coconut primer. Okay, I'm going to put this all on my face as well. Does it smell nice? Can't even smell it. Okay, what we're gonna do is... Oh, it's runny! Holy Christ! Oh! Ah! It smells delicious! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm using so many face stuff. I'm just so excited. I am just so bloody excited because I... I've never ever had high-end products before and stuff and I just... I treated myself just a little bit and I'm using so much like Marc Jacobs stuff. Um, I am gonna be testing out... I saw this on Sephora and I was like... Oh, it, like, it looks like deodorant. It's not. It's actually, what is it? Bright Now Cover Tea Stick. Okay, so I'm going to brighten my whole face. I used this on my friend yesterday. Holy crap. She looked so bloody beautiful. <gasps> Girl, she looked gorgeous. Her base and just everything looked incredible. And it was all because of this bloody thing. So I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Ivory Light. Here it is here. Apparently, this is really good for makeup artists. Why? Because, okay, can we see this? So here's the tip. You put it just up here, okay? Just up here. Because if you think about it, you know when like you pump foundation on your brush and then it goes just screaming down and then like down and in, into here and you never see it ever again and you have to like clean the living shit out of it to get the shit out of the foundation and then your brushes are basically ruined? Yeah. Well, this doesn't happen because it just sits right here. And so what you do is apparently you just dot it. Oh my god. I'm so excited. So I'm just... Holy crap, there's actually so much product. Wow, girl! Wow! Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna add some more because I am a full coverage queen. My friend, when I was putting her makeup on, she was like, is this a little bit too much? And I'm like... I don't know. I might need to mix another foundation because this could be a little bit too pale for me. Because I'm a little bit brown, just a tiny bit. I have not been burning this year. I have actually been tanning. So you can write your congratulations in the comments down below. That's cool. I'll read them all. Also, another thing, Mark, you dickhead. This exploded in the mail. It's probably not his fault. It's probably like Sephora. But still, I was really gutted. But um, I've, I'm getting over it. So this is the Ivory Medium. So it's still quite light. 
but for me it will be dark. So see how I'm dotting everything around, okay? And it's literally just sitting on the tip of this. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend it in. Apparently when you push this on your face, this disappears, like this goes away and goes in, it like lodges in, so we'll see if that happens. So I'm just gonna buff this in. Oh my god, I look flawless already, holy shit. Oh my god, who would have known that nipples can buff stuff into your face? I never knew I'd ever be using a nipple brush in my life. And like the best thing about it is to see where like the nipple part here, I can like go right under as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. What has she created? Ah! It's looking so good. Look at me. I'm flawless. I'm calling Jeffrey. Jeffrey, get on Twitter. Look at my face. This is not sponsored by the way. <laughs> I, mean, I hate that I have to mention that. Like as soon as you mention anything that you like, oh, it's sponsored! It's not. I'm actually just genuinely interested to see if this is gonna work on me. The bristles are quite hard, like they're firm. They're not like soft. They're not like soft, like oh that feels so beautiful and soft. But like it's not hard, it's not like it's scratching you. Can you hear that? Okay, I was scared about these brushes and now I'm scared because I don't recognize myself because I look so good, so good. And like, look, around my nose, it's not all like cakey and gross. Okay, what's the best for concealer? This one or this one? I might bite the bullet and use this one. This Kylie Jenner thing, load of crap. Don't even bother getting it. It's too, it's so, no, 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 no. It's exactly the same as ColourPop. Don't, can't stress that enough. It's really not that good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is. Oh, Jesus, are you really serious? Do this to the nipple. See the nipple? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so delicate! Just like all the people on the internet. Oh my god, this is as delicate as people who can't take jokes on the internet. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. <gasps> Oh my god, it goes right into like the inner corner. Are you guys seeing that? Like... Bro! And then I'm just using the side as like a little bit of a sponge. Oh my god, I'm carving out my eyebrow! Like it works really well when you dab. This is the best my face has ever looked in my life. Like, not even joking. And it's all because of a, a nipple. Next up, I'm really scared. Okay, I'm really scared because I love this face so much that I'm really scared I'm going to F it up, sis. Chris Fox style. Like, honestly, um, he doesn't F anything up, but like, you know, that's his saying. I'm going to be using the Studio Pro Cream Contour Kit by BH Cosmetics. I haven't used this, so we're all in this together. What brush am I going to take? I'm going to take the medium brush again. I don't really trust myself with the big one. So I am going to be taking, what shade should I do? Comment down below. Too late. I'm going to choose this one. Just you, just using the tip. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it makes such a cute little line. Aww. Oh my god, wait a minute, are we seeing this? This is life changing, okay? Oh my god! I think it's because of my eyebrows actually. Could not be just the brushes, could be because of my eyebrows. God, the line is so fine. Now I am, this is the scariest part, I hate this part. I, I don't have a liquid, oh, I do, but it's red and it looks really stupid, but like, I was going to do this and blend it out to see how this goes. This is the um, Fenty Beauty Yacht Life. It's a really nice color, but I can never get it to like work and like look good on me. So I'm gonna use the, this massive ass Mama Jamma brush.
Oh shit, it actually worked. Holy crap, it actually worked. Oh my god. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some cream contour on. Now what am I gonna use? I wanted to use, oh, because I bought the uh, Marc Jacobs strip. If you want to, like, you have epilepsy, don't look at this because this is literally the strobiest strobe that you've ever seen in your life. It is incredible. Like, seriously, it is so, so good. I'm going in with the tip again. Okay, that, that sort of worked. Not really. Maybe I need more of a, like, a liquid like an actual like oh like right this like here right here the high beam okay i think maybe we'll just need to do a little bit of that that probably this probably will do it so yeah okay that's where i went wrong now i'm really shit at cream highlight never works for me ever so we'll see if this buffs out it's kind of hard I don't know how to do. I'm kind of, I'm kind of struggling. Is that good? I don't know. I'm kind of struggling here. I'm kind of on struggle street. Highlights really hard for me. I'm a little bit mentally challenged. I've always had issues with Benefit High Beam, and I love it. Like I love, I love it, but I just can never get it to work. I feel like it's taken some stuff off of it. But the thing is, I can't. Even if I use a sponge, it still looks really bad. In my opinion. <laughs> I think I'm just really not good at it. I just don't think I've mastered the art of that. Literally gonna do this. Okay. Down my nose. Here. And here. Okay. This. This. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. I'm not gonna give up. Oh. Hug me! Oh my god, I look so good. Look at my face. My face looks so good. This is messed it up. I, this is not good. I'm not happy about that one. So that's <laughs> Shut up! I'm just going to set it with my normal Too Faced stuff, but it's running out, so it's probably going to be uneven, but you know, it's all good. Mum's just got home. That's not very nice outfit. No, but tell them about your jeans. Mum looks like a 14-year-old in these jeans, guys. Look, how much were they? $9. $9. And I got new shoes. I got mum those from Dolls Kill. Also, what do you want to do? You, what did you want to do? Mum's got this face mask idea. Yeah, but that's another video. I, it sounds disgusting. I don't know why she thinks that she's part of Lush all of a sudden, but she apparently is. I am not looking forward to it. Okay, well I'll go and sort out my wardrobe for the lookbook. Yeah, go and do that, because we could film it today. Oh, guys, my face is so good. Na -na 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 Next, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna use the Hula Light. You guys know what that looks like. I can't get over those nipple brushes. Like, I honestly, I was ready for a flop. Not that I didn't believe in Shannon or anything like that, but I was just kind of like, oh, these sound too good to be true. They are too good. They're too good for my liking, actually. Like, why is this part of my chest red? Like, who who did that? It wasn't me. Okay, I'm just gonna fake a jawline. I'm about to catfish. I'm about to catfish your mama. I'm about to catfish Post Malone. I have bought the cult fave that has been like the cult fave for like the past five years. It is Wigasm by Anaz. And I am so excited. Um, this mystery machine bought me this. In um, Ireland. No, Heathrow Airport. Because I said to him, hey. Hey. Hey, Bob. Oh. Yeah, in duty free right now, and he's like, yeah, I am. Oh, that's really funny, because I want makeup, and he got me some cool stuff. Oh, oh, what is this? Shit, did you just hear my mum burp, like, honestly? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Yoshi likes to chase him and he doesn't really know what to do with himself. Now I am going to be putting on my favourite um, highlighter. This is my favourite highlighter in the entire world by BH Cosmetics. You guys have seen me use it um, a, a couple of times. Um, I'm thinking about just using the strobe because I used a strobe underneath so why not use like another strobe just to make the internet, just, just to break the internet just for one day, you know, just, just for one day. I need to sort my shit out actual literal diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome shit, okay? Might need to send my boyfriend a photo just to remind him that 
I can look good sometimes. Yes, I'm gonna be doing the eye look and I'm so excited. I um it's purple and I don't I never really do purples. Um I find purple to be really hard to work with. And she's a tricky girl. Yeah, she causes me difficulties. I actually was gonna use a base and that base was gonna be Oh, I can't even find it! Ah! Actually, no, it's in here. Can you see me? Probably not. Oh yeah. Look at this. I painted that. Not finished yet though. I need to finish it. Mum's desperate for me to finish it. It's hard painting because I don't want Yoshi to get into my paints. It's kind of like a health and safety regulation. This looks really dried up and really shitty. It's called Beauty Call. I don't think Colourpop has this anymore. Oh my god, it feels like Play-Doh. Who did that? And now I'm reaching into my favourite custom palette that I made all by myself. That one. Mochi. Mochi, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's by Kimchi. I'm never going to get over it. I'm never going to get over the shade, actually, to be honest. This is where it gets. It's going to get good. It's going to get good now. Oh, who did that? All right, next I am going to be taking Jilted, which is this. God, look at that colour. <sighs> Yummy. Okay, I'm taking this with the same blender brush. She's a bit beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna blend it out. I just wanted like a bluey purple. Looks like I've been punched in the face. The blues are so nice to have underneath. Okay, I'm taking Urban, which is that purple here. Sorry, I'm, tr I'm just trying not to make the brush fall out. You see that? Oh yeah, also, my mum, not that you can see, she thought she was helping. She's put fairy lights over here, but like I said, yeah, but you guys aren't gonna see it. Like, what? why did you even bother? She was like, oh, I just thought it would look nice. Yeah, nice try, Mum. Glad that she's not like a bloody interior designer. I'm going in with the Tarte Lit. You don't have to use as many shades as I do. I'm just like pissing around. But I'm going to use this um, dark purple colour called Bombshell because that's what I am. Darkening the outer V. I hate blending on this eye because you can see my scar and it looks like I can't blend. But I... I, it's hard when there's a scar right there, you know? Okay, that's gonna do for now. So now, this is the exciting part. This is where I'm going to be using the detail brush. Oh God, I'm so excited. Aren't they bloody divine? This is Into the Blue by um, Stila. These are my favorite things in the whole wide world. Then I've also got Sea Siren, which is just bloody, oh my God. And then this one is um, average, and no, I'm joking, it's really nice. It is Sunset Cove. I am gonna take Into the Blue. Here it is here, and I'm gonna put it on this tip right here. Okay, and I'm going to... Oh my God! I almost feel like I could do a winged eyeliner with this. Like that. Oh, but I want to actually have it like all over my eye, so. Oh my God, no, this detail brush isn't, oh wow. Look at this. My recording, thank God. Seriously, what is happening? Holy crap. This is my new favorite brush, I reckon. I didn't know this was gonna work that good. Literally, I could cut a crease. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, it hooded eye, so I have to like, sit like this. Oh. This is dynamite. This has changed my life. Look how sharp this is. So you know when you're cold and your nipples go like frozen and you could literally like cut someone with your nipple? That is how, this is this right now, okay? Like I could break into a car and save a dog that's overheating in a car with, with like a frozen nipple. That, that's what I could, like seriously, look how beautiful. What is going on? Next up, I'm using sea siren because I can't help my ass, my greedy ass. Okay, I'm gonna do the inner corner. What even is my life like? What is life? Literally, I'm going like this. The tiniest, tiniest amount. And it just goes exactly where I want it. Just so um, the people who aren't subscribed to me can see this just accidentally and they get blinded and they're oh god what was that and then they click on it and they're like oh my god 
It's her inner corner highlight. This is how I get subscribers, guys. Hi, guys. It's Katie Potato here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to get subscribers. It's all about the inner corner highlight using a nipple brush. So, okay. I'm going back in with the bombshell color right here. We're going to see how this works with, like, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, no, it works. Yep, okay. Why am I underestimating this brush? It can literally do everything. I'm calling the makeup police. I'm going back in with Urban, which is like this um, purple colour here. Oh, hello. Hi, what are you, what are you doing? It'll literally look like a drag queen version of Jessica Rabbit, but I'm kind of living for it, so that's fine. As long as I'm happy, it doesn't really matter what you guys think, so trouble don't last forever, bitch. Living in Los Angeles. Okay, now I'm going to be putting on some lashes. What are these lashes called? Illusion. That's because that's what I am. I'm an optical illusion, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna put this color on. It is called Delicious. I may have done a tutorial with this. If not, I'll do another one because this isn't a Jeffree Star makeup tutorial. Oh yeah, I'm so glad I picked this. To the people out there who say I've got lip injections, you bloody wish, mate. Like, I have got too much tissue and it is an issue in my bloody lips. Like, honestly. All right, so that is basically the finished review. What do I have to say about these? bloody brushes now I use unfortunately I only use three out of the four because I didn't feel the need to use this for anything really I am um, I could have used it for concealer maybe or like other work around my face but I didn't as I again not sponsored I was literally generally interested to see if these worked because when I heard about them I was just kind of like uh, yeah sounds good but like well does it actually really work as you can see look at my face this is the best I've looked in literally centuries okay like Oh my god. This is just incredible. Like, you are going to be able to save so much makeup. Just so much so. And this would be amazing for, like, makeup artists and stuff. I think my favourite, 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 favourite was this detail brush. I think this is absolutely incredible. I was really surprised by this, by this. I thought I wouldn't be able to do, like, a lot with it. I swear to god, I feel like I could maybe even do, like, a winged eyeliner with this if I actually tried. It had sellotape on and stuff. This is incredible. Like, amazing. I found it really difficult to blend, like, cream highlight. But then again, I am really shit at cream highlights, so like I think that is just an issue on my behalf, I don't know. But I found really difficult doing that, it felt, I felt like the foundation kind of came off from underneath. So that is just, um, and I can't remember, I think I used this, I think I used this medium brush, maybe I should have used this, um, maybe I should have dabbed on it, I don't know, like, I don't know. But in general, this is an incredible set, and... I wish I thought of this idea because this is amazing and I totally recommend these and I wouldn't lie to you guys but proof is right here so it's I'm I look bloody good and it's all because of these bad boys if you want to buy these I will link them down below I don't know the price at the top of my head I can definitely see myself using these more in the future hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um, but yeah I'm gonna get going now I'm gonna be filming a video with my mama she is getting all her clothes already. She's getting ready. It's Project Runway down here. So if you want to stay tuned and see what my mum has got in store for you guys. Five she's got five looks. She's getting ready. Oh, and, and shoes are all included. I can see the shoes. She's very excited. All right, I'm so excited to film this. So I better get going and go and do that now. Have a look at these. Get, get, get a look on these guys. Because honestly, these are really cool. Hope to see you all again very soon. So hi to your mum for me. Look after yourself. Most importantly.